Hello YouTube, this is Shamrock93 and I am here to show you a review of the Oakley T-Pain Signature Series Oil Rig. Um, you are looking at the oil rig right now. This is what everybody's calling the new 2009 edition. I'm not sure why they're calling it the 2009 because it came out before Christmas time of 2008. Um, I don't know, maybe they just are making it the 2009 version and wanted to get it out in time for um, Christmas. I am not sure. But it's the 2009 edition Oakley Oil Rig. Um, as I said, these are T-Pains. Um, they're very cool sunglass. Um, very, very light, actually. Surprising. Um, I'm going to first start out with the Icon, which is one of the coolest things you know, well, see about them. Um, you can kind of see there how the icon is very like like kind of three dimensional and very futuristic looking um, it's raised up a little bit from the frame um, you can kind of see there by a shadow or whatnot other than the older oil rig which is just flat and has a boring icon I'll show you a picture of it later um, on this stem you have the little ooey just like on the um, older T-Pain oil rig um, so that's in the same spot, and then on the inside of that stem, it says oil rig there. I don't know, maybe you can get a shadow on it to see it. Uh, it says oil rig. We've got the serial numbers actually right there. And then you can see on the inside to make these lighter, Oakley actually just cut out more in here. You can see, and it um, made the frame a lot lighter. And from the older oil rig, my cousin has a pair, and he has the older one, not T-Pains, but they're just the older oil rig and it has a much thicker o matter frame so it's a little bit heavier um, um, let's see go to the front the oil rig has well this one has a black iridium lens um, in the lens you can maybe see the signature I don't know his signature is etched in the lens laser etched into the lens you might be able to see the shadow there the old oil rig it isn't so I kinda like that actually about this new one I like where it is um, black iridium lens uh, and on the inside you can see the center divider you don't have to worry about too much that's just to hold the frame up other than relying a lot on the lens but as you can see there it's actually kinda hard to see the center divider and when you put it on your face it just it just blacks out. You don't have to worry about it because of the iridium, very reflective. On this stem, you got the icon again, obviously. It'd be stupid to have the icon on one side. But that's the icon again. Then you got the nappy bear, they call it, or the teddy bear, T Pain's nickname, um, on that side. And that's in a different spot, actually, from the older one. And then on the inside of that stem, you have made in USA. I can't see it too well. A little bit small. And then again, you got the cutout um, stem piece. Very light. Um, I'll show you now what the older one looks like, and then we'll get into some technical stuff after that. Um, here is a picture of the older one. I don't actually own the older one. That'd be pretty cool too. But that's a picture of it. Um, first we'll start off with the icon. Obviously you could probably see, I'm not sure how much, but you can see the icon. It isn't as, like, 3D and I don't think it looks as cool. Um, see right here the Uwe sign, that's in the same spot. Um, and you also have this black line on the bottom third of the stem and a little bit on the front frame where the lens is. So that's a pretty big difference. Um, the arm pretty much looks the same, except this isn't raised. It's just straight the whole way across, and there's only like one line going through it. On the new one, there's one that goes this way too. It looks very cool. Um, you can see on the other stem then that this is just all normal O matter molded in. I mean, there's nothing cut out, so it makes it a little bit heavier. Not too much, but it is heavier, and you can feel it on your face when you wear them. Um, you got the teddy actually on the inside here. See, that's different. On the newer one, it's on the outside right around here. 
and then if you look at the lens it's the same lens black iridium um, very good protection uh, there is no etching here the etching is actually where this teddy bear is on this on this um, stem so that's pretty much the main difference of that one um, it'd be pretty cool to own like I said they're a little bit heavier still have all the same benefits of the newer one just I don't think they look as cool so uh, we'll go back to the newer one now um, we'll do some technical stuff uh, I'm sure you'll probably all be bored like at this but if you were like me when I was thinking about first getting them well, actually I didn't even think about it I saw T-Pain wearing them and he's like my favorite artist so I decided I really wanted to get them once I discovered they were Oakley's I was like crap they're gonna be expensive and turns out they were $135 so uh, pretty expensive sunglasses but they're really 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 worth it I'm here to tell you right now um, some of the technical stuff we'll start out with the lens that's what everybody needs for the sunglass um, the lens is black iridium it has a light index of 3, which to Oakley, um, the heat index of that would be, it's for strong sun brightness. So, if you're, like 3 is actually the highest um, light index that Oakley makes. So, um, this is one of the best lenses without going to like, it has actually 10% of light transmission too. Polarized or like the best polarized is nine, but this is the, like the second best lens, pretty much. Um, so that's pretty much it with the lens. I mean, it's a very good lens, very dark. And it looks awesome because since it has the iridium coating, it's very reflective. So when you put it on, it like just totally blacks out your eyes and everything. People can't see in. Um, if the sun, if you're looking like kind of towards the sun you can pretty much see in if it's a very bright sunny day but I mean you can't really reflect that too much unless you have those mirror lenses um, now we'll go to some of the cool stuff that they have in the stems on each stem um, they have what's they call a dual cam um, hinge mechanism and it's really neat because they snap into place you can kinda see it there it's like you get it so far and then it just like snaps out and then it holds it in that spot so when you're wearing it you don't have to worry about the stem like coming undone well not undone but like folding in a little bit and screwing your vision up it just stays in place and they stay put um, it's very cool because you probably can't see it too much but on this center um, part of the hinge there's like a little ridge there that actually holds the stem away from the lens and you can see there I really like it because it doesn't like smash into the lens and it protects the lens a little bit so each side has that very neat um, design um, that's getting to be about it with the stuff about the actual glasses 